What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Robot Panda 15 here, bringing you back the Valkyria Chronicles series. Yes, I did this as my first uh, Let's Play on this channel a long time ago, but we are back now. Excuse me, I gotta move the mic a little closer there. But yes, we are back now with the Valkyria Chronicles, this time remastered. And it feels so good. I got Elgato running back up again on my PC. And, oh, we're starting this thing all over again. Okay, let me just uh, get out of this real quick. Do, 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 do. But, yes, as I was saying, it feels so good to have this all back up and running now. I really hope this goes through right. Uh, but we're going to go straight into a new game here. And I'm going to shut up and let it play. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the East when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. And so they did. Gallia to arms. All right. So this game originally came out on the PS3, I believe. Yes, PS3. Didn't sell very well, and then they ported it to Steam on PC, and it actually sold really well there. And they decided it sold so well that they're going to bring it back on PS4 remastered. So let's get this story going. March, 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Ready? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Put your hands in the air, slowly. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Bruletown Watch. I'm Alicia, Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes, oh, I know. 
And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Thanks, fish. <laughs> Alright, new episode has been added. The Imperial Attack. So this game, if you haven't caught on already, is actually based on World War... I want to say World War II-ish, somewhere around that kind of time era. But the catch is that Ragnite is, is a thing in this game. So the technology is a little more advanced than what we had in World War II. But yeah, let's play the next episode. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or, this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait... Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. <sighs> I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down! Over there! Uh, yes. These right here, these are what we call war crimes. Unarmed civilians being shot down by a military force. Damn it! Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Ugh, and so begins the firefight. Oh, here's how you save the game. Yeah, we'll do that after we, uh, you know, fuck bitches up. Okay, here's the plan. <clears throat> Let me get my commander voice on here. <clears throat> We've got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brule. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies. Let's take care of them one at a time, nice and easy. So our victory conditions are all enemies are defeated. Our lose conditions are if Welkin dies, Alicia dies, or 20 turns Let's pass. Get started. Just stay calm now, and get if it you done. can't beat this in one turn there's something wrong but let's get it done as alicia did say all right it's gonna tell us a bunch of stuff here about the game I see three of them that's three too many stay sharp after Listen, the dialogue of course there's something i should explain all right command points basically are your amount of turns quote unquote you have within your amount of times you can move within your turn so to speak so it would be like, so like here they're showing it off. Every time you use one of those command points, it allows you to move a unit, blah, blah, blah. So we got three this time. And let's go ahead and move up the field with them. So we got one scout there, another one there, and one more there. So one way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use Welkin at the start here, take out that first scout. Action points basically is your stamina bar. You'll see it here in a bit. So yeah, it's going to tell us a bunch of stuff here. 
We're gonna get in position, take out this scout right here. Oh, attacking. Press the R1 button, and then L and R1 will snap to different targets. And then you can use your D-pad to fine-tune your aim. So once you're in the target mode, you'll want to use the left stick to get the general area, then use the D-pad to kind of finesse that aim in a little more. And this is the important part. Your shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshairs, not within the crosshairs itself. So yeah, it's uh, stupid. But yeah, it tells us a bunch of stuff about HP and all that, and it's pretty simple. You can see you have shots to kill versus your shots, so if we can land both these shots in the head here. Now I just pressed X to get the kill there. I think if you press R2, you can also get the kill. So we still have some AP yes. left, so I'm going to actually move Welkin up just a little bit here. I love how it tells us right here in the middle that we can use cover instead of when we were just using cover on the sandbags there. But here we go. So crouching units uh, gain a defensive buff where they are allowed to take more damage, even if you're on the flank of them, which I think is a little bit stupid. But yeah, we're going to chill here and end the current turn before we take too much damage. All right, we got Welcome pushed up on point. Now we're going to take Alicia here and push her all the way up and into where Welkin is. And we're not going to use that uh, Town Watchman at all here. So we can actually get her all the way up to about here. And I got to land these headshots. There we go. I was going to say, please land the headshot. Yeah, we got that one, and now I'm going to push up Alicia again onto the next set of sandbags. And she should be able to easily get the kill on this guy. There we go. Yeah. Win. Easy win. One turn's all it takes for that one. It's super easy to do. I don't see any more of them. Yeah. A rank. I think that's the best rank you can get. And a new episode has been added. And Alicia has blood on her hands. It's not every day that you have There's to kill no somebody. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people that even in war there was also new life on the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935 the empire began its assault in earnest a formal declaration of war was made upon gallia Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate. And of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died.
shit's getting real. Chapter 1, In Defense of Brule. And we'll go over Chapter 1 later in the next episode of Valkyria Chronicles. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Subscribe for more content and always leave a comment. I try to read any old comments that I possibly can. And I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. But for now, we're going to save the game. And I will see you guys next time.